today I'm going to show you how to make instant ulundu vada. This ulundu vada usually is made by soaking ulundu dal, that is urad dal, for about three to four hours and then we grinding it to a fine paste. But this is an instant recipe. So I'm using urad dal flour, ulundu maw. Okay, come I'll show you the ingredients you need to make this instant ulundu vada, also known as medu vada. So I have 200 grams of ulundu flour. So that's 200 grams of ulundu marble. This is one medium onion that I've finely chopped. This is three green chilies that I've sliced and chopped really finely. This is curry leaves, about two tablespoons of curry leaves I've finely chopped. This is corn flour, four tablespoons of corn flour about one teaspoon of pepper powder salt this is dried tuna flakes so this is the usual flakes that you get but if you don't use it as this uh, you put it in your blender and pulse it once or twice to a fine powder this is asafoetida and of course you need water and then let's mix it and let's make a instant pull in the butter so to our Urad dal flour, that is ulundu marble. Add the corn flour, four tablespoons. Add that in. The corn flour gives this a good crispy and soft texture. To that, let's add the salt. About one teaspoon of salt. And water and make this a thick batter. So, really well. Sort of mix this really well. So, you sort of aerate this and get it fluffy. Keep doing this for about five minutes. So I've been mixing this batter for about five minutes continuously. This is very thick and this is the consistency. Now it's time to add the onions and rest of the ingredients. This is, as I said, one medium onion and finely chopped it. Mix that in. Curry leaves. Green chilies. Then, this is the dried tuna uh, powder, about 2 to 3 teaspoons. This is optional, the real recipe does not use that, but I am using it for flavor. You don't have to use it if you are a vegetarian. Mix it in well. Then pepper powder, about 1 teaspoon. Pepper powder according to your spice level. Finally, about half a teaspoon of asafoetida as well and mix everything well. So our batter is done. So let it sort of rest for 5 minutes. Meanwhile, let's heat our oil. So, to a frying pan, I'm adding a flavorless oil.
and let the oil heat up. So the oil is heating up. Meanwhile, let's make our vada. This is banana leaf. If you have a banana leaf, use it. First, apply some oil on your hands and on the banana leaf as well. Take a small amount of batter and roll it. You can then place it on the banana leaf and make a small hole in the center. Okay, now our oil is heated up. Add some curry leaves of flavor. Now let's add a butter. Another one. Some make a ball, flatten it out, make a hole in the center. Now Put that in. is done so take it out of the oil and place it Let's turn it around this is done medium flame around five to eight minutes is enough frying time set so our medu vada or instant ulundu vada is done so I have changed this traditional recipe rather than using urad dal, I've used uh, urad dal flour and also the uh, dried tuna flakes. So if you are a vegetarian, leave that uh, fish part of it out. But since I like the flavor of dried tuna, I've used it. So when you buy dried tuna flakes, also known as Maldive fish uh, chips, uh, don't use the chunks because when you bite into the vada and you have big chunky pieces, it will be uh, it will hurt your teeth. So just put it in the blender and pulse it once or twice to get a fine powder and then mix it into the batter. So as you can see, it was very easy. You don't have to wait for three to four hours for the urad dal to sort of soak. You can make it instantly. So I hope you guys will try this recipe out and let me know how you liked it in the comment section. So until I see you guys next time with yet another video, this is your week signing off.